Chris, can you help VEC members understand how in a large event like this, how you prioritize restoration? Sure. Um, we prioritize based upon public safety concerns as well as the sizes of our outages. We tend to focus on large number outages so that we can restore more people in the community that are then able to help other people in the community without power. So how do you come up with estimated restoration times and like sometimes they change, why does that happen? Certainly, so it depends upon the nature of the outage. If we have an outage that affects a whole substation, particularly if the power supply coming into that substation is lost, then the whole substation goes into a single outage that's given one estimated restoration time. Once the source is restored, then we can start to move our way out through the system, identify separate outages, which then changes an individual's es estimated restoration time, but we're able to give more accurate information as we're able to do more assessment of the full circuits themselves. So with a large outage, we can expect over the course of the event, things will change around. It's, it's most likely that things are going to change as we get better information from the field and we have experience in this storm to see how long it's going to take to restore some of these circuits. So sometimes uh, my neighbor might have their power back or never lost it and my power is still out. Why does that happen? Um, so there's a number of things that can contribute to that. Um, sometimes there is a three-phase circuit. Uh, that's a pole that has the three wires on the top. So we can restore individual phases and sometimes neighbors are on different phases because we need to balance that circuit and therefore if your neighbor is on one phase that we can restore and you're on a phase that we can't restore as quickly you're likely to see your neighbor with power and yourself without. There's also times where we have members who um, see their neighbors with power that may be on a different utility because there's a lot of overlap um, in the state with service territory or areas where the two service territories butt up against each other. Well, uh, another contributor could be that there's some issue beyond your meter. It could be the wire that goes from the meter to your house or it could be something internal in your house such as the main breaker in your circuit panel. Right, so um, over the next few days what can VEC expect in terms of restorations of this really significant outage event? Uh, we are expecting to have, by and large, most of our members on by Friday evening with some smaller single outages lasting into Saturday, possibly Sunday. Thank you.